Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a beginner money making guide. So in this guide, I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of money making methods that you can do at an early level. So hopefully this will help a lot of you newer players if you're looking for some money making methods. Now most of these methods are going to be geared towards pay to play, so they're going to be members content. However, I do have one money making method in here for free to play players and I'm going to put it right at the start. So if you guys are free to play and you're looking for a money making method, maybe you can try the first method, um, but otherwise all of the other methods in this video are only going to be for members. Anyway guys, I really hope you do enjoy today's video and let's get into it. So starting off with our first money making method, we have killing spell wisps. Now as I said, this is the only free to play money making method in this guide. And there is only one recommendation, so recommended is 50 plus combat stats. Um, you could probably do it with lower, but uh, 50 plus is a pretty good or ideal level to have. And you will probably want to use ranged or magic just so you can kill the spell wisps faster, and that way you won't have to get into melee distance to kill them. So spell wisps are located just outside of the wizard's tower, which is south of Draenor village. And you can just kill them around this monolith. There is about five of them, five or six of them that spawn. Um, so if you are a pretty high level, you will actually kill them so fast that uh, you'll be waiting for them to spawn. Basically, you will want to be picking up everything that the spell was drop. They do drop impish ashes, which is their big drop. Um, they drop these every time you do kill them, and they're priced at around 2.7k right now. Um, so you are going to be making most of your money off of those drops um, and then the other drops will total up to a little bit as well and you should make around 2 mil per hour doing this. You can also deposit all of your items nearby just by talking to the wizard Myrtle. He is located right next to the spell wisp so you will be able to deposit a lot of items pretty quickly um, with them so that is why this method is so good. Um, it's because the banking time is nearly non-existent. Also, here is a look at a full inventory of items um, from killing the uh, spell wisps. So it's about 58k, you'll be getting that about every inventory. And the inventories can be pretty fast. I get this about every minute or minute and a half. Um, but I am a max player, so it does definitely depend on your combat level as to how much GP power you will be making from this method. But as I said, it is a free to play money making method and it is one of the better ones. So if you guys are, are free to play players and you're looking to make some money, this is definitely a great method for you. Now another money making method that I do want to talk about is getting Vizwax. This is a members method, um, but it is extremely good. You require 50 room crafting and you can make 1 mil per day doing this. So first off, you will want to go to the wizard's tower. You'll want to enter the room crafting guild and this is where that level 50 room crafting requirement comes in. Um, also, if you are someone who does have 99 rune crafting, you can use the cape to automatically get the uh, rune that is best in slot for the third combination. And I know that sounds a bit confusing right now, but I will be explaining the combinations and how the rune Goldberg machine here works. So as you can see, there is three different combinations. Now the combinations vary each day. Now there are various different ways of you obtaining this combination. Um, one for me in my Discord server under the announcements tab, it does list the uh, daily Vizwax combination each day. Um, as you can see for this specific day, it was death rune in slot one. So what that means is I get 30 Vizwax for that slot one if I put a death rune in it. Now slot two is a bit different. There's three different combinations. So as you can see, we do have three separate runes. Um, as you can see, there is also uh, three runes shaded in yellow. Those are the best ones to use because it saves you the most money. For example, the Astro runes, they're really expensive, so you won't want to use those. So for slot number two, as you can see, I put in air runes. It was one of the three possibilities. And for that slot, I got another 30 Vizwax, totaling up to 60. Now the last slot, it is always random. You can obtain the uh, exact rune using your rune crafting cape but that does require 99 rune crafting however um, and if you get this slot right it does give you 40 vizwax now if you don't put in the right rune um, you will still get some vizwax but you won't get that max amount so you will try to make it so you get the most vizwax 
for the least amount of cost. So make sure you're not using really expensive runes all the time unless it gives you the max amount of Vizwax. Now also this money making method is going to be a lot different than the other ones I'm going to talk about in this video. If you guys are looking for more money making methods like this, definitely check out my maintain membership video. I'll be linking it in the description down below. Basically, it is just a bunch of money making methods that you can do each day to obtain a little bit of money, which will add up to enough to buy a full bond in two weeks. Um, the requirements for this method, they're pretty low. Um, so I would highly recommend you guys check out this uh, video. It is really well done and it should give you a pretty good idea of ways to make money each day so that you can maintain a bond for membership. And so now moving on to another money making method in this video, it is going to be making toad flax potions. You can make about 5 mil per hour doing this and the requirements aren't too high. So you do require level 49 herb lore as well as level 49 dungeoneering. Now 49 dungeoneering is needed so you can get the scroll of cleansing. The Scroll of Cleansing is a reward that can be purchased with your Dungeoneering Tokens. It does cost 2,000 Dungeoneering Tokens and it can be bought from the Rewards Trader in Damonheim. So definitely make sure you do buy this before you plan on doing this method. Um, what the Scroll of Cleansing does is that it gives you a 10% chance of saving the herbs when you are making a potion. So this will allow you to make a lot more profit when doing this method. Also, another recommendation is using portable wells. Um, this will allow you to make extra potions as well. You also get a little bit more XP. You can join the portables discord um, and find out where the portable wells are. So you can just hop to that world and use that specific portable well. So to start this method, you will want to buy clean toad flax as well as a vial of water. We're going to be making the toad flax potion unfinished. So first off, buy your toad flax, buy your vials of water. Make sure you don't overpay for them because that will cut into your profit. So as you can see here, I'm just basically going to insta buy all of my supplies. However, this is going to cut into the profit that I will be making. So if you're really planning on doing this money make method um, to make the most amount of profit you can, you'll want to short, sort of slow buy these items. So try and buy them for the grand exchange price or maybe even a little bit less. That way you will make some more money. So now that you bought all of your supplies, you're gonna to wanna to go to the location of the portable well. Um, in this case, it's World 99 at the Lumbridge uh, bank chest. It might not always be here, but um, that is where it was right now in the portables friends chat. So as you can see now, I'm going to want to get my setup ready. So I'm just gonna make a preset. As you can see, I have my 14 vials of water and my 14 clean toad flax. So I'm gonna make a preset, that way I can quickly go to the bank and load my preset and make it a lot faster. You'll basically just wanna click on the well and then click your space bar so you will start making the potions. Now as you are doing this, you will see a few notifications in the chat box saying that you saved an ingredient or maybe even you made an extra potion and that is where a lot of the profit is going to be coming from. Even though there is a bit of a profit margin when making the potions regularly, having that 10% chance of saving one of your ingredients, which is one of the clean toad flaxes, it is worth about 10k. So each time that does happen, you're saving 10k and that really does add to the profit. Also, using the portable wells gives you a 5% chance of making an extra potion, which obviously increases your profit as well. Now, since you are going to be saving some of the toad flax, you'll want to make sure to buy more vials of water than the toad flax. That way you can make more potions um, than the amount of toad flax that you bought. So basically, you will be making a lot of profit from these extra potions. So if you guys noticed, I bought 300 toad flax when I started this method, but I ended up selling 374 toad flax potions. So we made a lot of profit off of this. As you can see, I made about one mil profit and it only took me 10 minutes to do these 300. Um, that being said, it is about six mil per hour right now. Um, the profit is a little bit higher, I would say, because of the double XP weekend announcement. Um, but definitely do be careful when doing this method since the prices of these items always do vary. Now moving on to our next money making method, we have killing snakes. Killing snakes is another really good low level money maker. You can make about 4 mil per hour doing it. 
The only requirement is the Cabin Fever quest. There are a few other quests that you will need to have completed as well, um, but it is a pretty short uh, quest line. Also recommended is just level 50 plus combat stats. You will want to have a decent defense level since there are some jungle horrors around which will be attacking you and they are aggressive. So these snakes are located on Moss La Harmless. Now to get here you will want to go to the port in Port Phasmatis. Um, you can board this ship and then just travel with Bill Teach and he will take you to that island. Now once you are here you'll want to exit the sort of town and go on the exterior of it. There you will find a few snakes running around in the grass. There will also be a lot of jungle horrors as well and these are aggressive creatures so that is why you will want a decent, um, a decent combat level and a decent defense level. Now another thing that I should mention about this method, you can bring magic notepaper to make it longer. Um, that is probably recommended since there isn't really a bank nearby. Um, and the snake hides, they are going to be selling for around 14k each on the Grand Exchange. Um, they aren't really bought too much, so uh, this method might not be able to be done a lot. Um, just because if you do sell bulk of the snake hides the price will probably drop a little bit since it isn't really an item that is in demand but it's pretty difficult to get these are basically the only way to get these snake hides is killing these snakes on this island so it is sort of a niche method um, but you can make some really good money off of it since each snake is a 14k kill now moving on to our next money making method we have smelting necronium bars. This is for four mil per hour. It is a bit of a higher requirement. Um, required is 70 smithing, but 77 smithing is highly recommended. Um, that way you will be able to smelt the bars 50% faster. And then you'll also have a chance of making an extra bar, which is where a lot of the profit does come from. Um, also recommended is the smelting gauntlets. You get this from the family crest quest. And then also the superheat form curse. This is extremely useful. It'll allow you to make an extra 1,000 bars per hour. Um, and this is a pretty high level requirement. So to start off, you will want to buy some of the necronium ore as well as the phasmatite ore. Um, then you can just bank them, put them into the ore bank. Then from here, you can just start making your necronium bars. Um, now, if you are using the superheat form curse, you will want to make sure that you do have a prayer potion or a prayer renewal potion on you. Um, that way you won't run out of prayer. It doesn't really drain the prayer very much, so um, just having any sort of prayer restore method um, will be fine. Even an elven ritual shard would do the job just fine. Um, now this method, it definitely does have some higher requirements to it, um, but the nice thing about it is it is more of an AFK method as well. As you can see, we're sort of AFK for over a minute at a time, and that is really nice um, uh, to, to have, and there's not really too many methods in the game where you can be AFK for this long and still make this much money. Now moving on to the next method, I have making the torso incense sticks. You can make about 2 mil per hour doing this, so it is a bit lower, and there is only one requirement, which is 75 fire making. Um, fire making is sort of an easier skill, so you guys might be able to get this pretty, um, pretty soon if you don't already have it. Now the nice thing about this method, even though it only makes you about 2 to 2.5 mil per hour, it is a really AFK method. You're going to be AFK for about a minute and a half at a time, which is just awesome. So in order to start this method, you will want to buy two items. The first item being the uh, Infernal Magic Incense Sticks. And again, like all of these methods where you have to buy things on the Grand Exchange, make sure you don't overpay for them. So you might want to slow buy them. As you can see, I just insta buy this stuff just for the video, but this definitely does cut into my profit. Um, now the second thing you will want to buy is the Clean Torso. Um, now, as mentioned earlier, the grimy torso can also be bought, um, and you can clean this, and it will add a little bit of profit as well, um, but it definitely will take a lot longer. So uh, if you are looking for the fastest way of doing it, just buy the clean torso, and then you are set. You're going to be making some decent profit off of this, so it should be fine anyway, and it is really AFK. 
So first off, just put it all in the bank. You're going to want to take out all of your incense sticks since they are stackable. And then take out um, 27 of the clean torso and create a preset for this. Um, that way when you go into the bank, it will speed it up a lot. Now the last step for this method, you're going to want to be using your clean torso on the incense sticks. You'll just want to make sure that you hit um, make and you'll start making the torso incense sticks. Um, now you will be making about 2k profit on each of these sticks. Um, as you can see, it's about a minute and a half AFK at a time. So that is why this method is so good. Um, it's probably the most appealing thing about it. You also do get a decent amount of fire making XP as well. You get about 180 fire making XP um, for every incense stick that you are making, which is pretty solid since it is a really AFK method. And so anyway guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you found all of these beginner money making methods helpful. And again, if you want to check out that maintain membership guide, it is linked in the description down below. It's filled with a lot of really great daily money making methods that will allow you to maintain a bond by using them. So I highly recommend you guys check that video out as well. And hopefully you found some of these methods in this video helpful and hopefully it'll help you make quite a bit of money to start your RuneScape journey. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you all in the next one. Peace.